This is what poverty looked like 50 years ago in Switzerland. Among the poor, there were many Italian and Spanish immigrants. Combien payez-vous par mois? 70 francs. Vous avez l'électricité? Non. Vous avez l'eau courante? Non, non. Vous avez les toilettes? Non, comme les paysans en la campagne. Nobody lives in such conditions in Switzerland anymore. Today you can have a smartphone and a flat screen TV and still be poor. And you don't need to be an immigrant either. At this charity market, for example, people fill their shopping bags with food after paying a symbolic franc. There are many people who are entitled to come to this place but don't. Because they're ashamed. In Switzerland, you hide your poverty. This place helps us eat properly. Vegetables, and not just pasta and potatoes, especially for my son, who's 10. Letizia has an eight-year-old daughter and is expecting her second child. She used to work in a factory, but lost her job. She comes to this place for her weekly shopping. Christoph is Letizia's boyfriend. They've lived together for two years. For the moment, he's temping at a recycling center run by the charity Caritas. He doesn't have a full-time job either, and his benefits have run out. Between his small salary and welfare, they get 3,000 francs a month. For a family in Switzerland today, this means living below the poverty line. I can't ask for another paycheck advance. I've already asked for one this month. We argue more because of the money. For example, he loves darts. And I cannot expect him to give that up too. You can't just stop doing everything. Things would only get worse. So I've got my car and he's got his darts. The couple bought many things on credit when they still had jobs. Now these debts are a burden, especially with a second child on the way. Being poor, I see on TV what poverty looks like in other countries. In Switzerland, you're not really poor like that. For me, it's hard because I've always worked and I always had what I wanted. I don't care so much about what people think. It's when I look at myself in the mirror and I think, you've reached a real low. I'm trying to keep my head above the water to get out of this slump. <laughs> if Christoph weren't there, I'd have to go back to my parents. We've been together for two years, and we've only been to a restaurant once, right at the beginning. Sometimes we buy the kid a Happy Meal, but only something for her. We don't give each other presents. We can't afford it. Vous savez déjà le nom de votre futur enfant? Oui. Normalement. Comment s'appellera-t-il? Brian. Brian. Quand on l'a conçu, on était stable, on était bien. When we conceived the baby, we were doing fine. But after only three or four months, we hit rock bottom. And I think it's going to take us a while to resurface. We've just been handed a seizure notice for the flat's contents. I broke my teeth and can't go to the dentist. It's tough. When we compare now and 50 years ago, attitudes differ to poverty. Now, people think if you're poor, it's because you're weak. In the past, many people struggled, but they weren't stigmatized. People admitted to being poor. Today, if you say you're poor, you're a failure. <laughs> 